Welcome to Shambani Farm. And today we are here to speak about how to manage external parasites in goats. So goats may be affected by external parasites such as ticks, fleas, and the likes. And these kind of parasite, what they do is they suck the blood from the, from the animal, uh, causing the skinny to be itchy, the animal to be uncomfortable, but also may transmit diseases. There are some diseases such as hot water that is transmittable through ticks, fleas as well, uh, and, 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 and all the, the rest of uh, uh, these parasites that lives on the skin or underneath the, the, the animal's uh, fur or the coat, they could have detriment uh, into the animal's health. So what we usually do in order to help the animal uh, fight off these, uh, these parasites is we usually spray the animal with uh, caricides uh, which help the, I mean, to kill these parasites, uh, especially external parasites, and therefore leave our animal very, very clean. And, and, and this is very, very important because these parasites could, could cause a lot of damage to the skin of the animal and therefore you may not benefit uh, from the skin but also making the animal uncomfortable and uh, when an animal is uncomfortable the health is is, is going to be affected uh, negatively so here i i want to show you how to how to take care of the external parasite in terms of uh, spraying the, the the animals uh, we usually spray our animals once per month especially the zero grazed ones and uh, the ones that are outside which are grazed we we do that once per week uh, the reason of that difference is because the ones that are grazed we can actually see we we i mean the the zero grazed ones we know their condition we can tell how they are and everything uh, so we, we we examine the animal we look at what uh, kind of parasite it has and if it doesn't have any parasites then we see no need to keep on spraying the animal every single day so uh, here uh, you can see immediately they see me holding this uh, this bag they they get they get very uh, uncomfortable because the medicine is a bit itchy and therefore they 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 know that it's going to it's going to cause them a little bit of discomfort so i use uh, uh, uh sort of like a sprayer that is battery based so that i don't have to to pump every 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 time when i'm spraying and this is what you would want to do uh you'd want the animal to to be completely wet uh, and, and, and you will do from every side of the animal. So you take it from the bottom uh, to make sure that anywhere where the ticks will hide themselves is taken care of. Uh, the back from the top as well. Uh, what you want to achieve is to make sure the animal is completely, completely wet. The coat should be dripping, dripping wet because you want the medicine, I mean the acaricide to, to go deep into the, into the skin so that it kills all the, the parasites that are there. Um, uh, ticks sometimes uh, are easy to spot, easy to see, but other, uh, other, 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 other parasites such as mites and, 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 and and fleas might not be that easy to spot. So you can see here I'm struggling a bit because the, the animal is moving too much. Uh, ideally, what we will do is we will keep uh, them on a very small space so that they don't have much room uh, to move around. Um, but, you know, for cases like this, uh, I just have to do with what I have right now here. But what's, what's really important is just to make sure that the animal is really so soaking wet and uh, the, the acaricide has gone every part of the animal uh, from the bottom, uh, on the tummy, the back, and you know, every place where 
ticks and all these uh, all these uh, parasites would hide uh, it's, it's important to reach to those areas so typically these parasites would hide in these dark places in the ears you know such kind of places uh, on the tail underneath the tail uh, on the back like down here uh, towards the the udder in between the udder and the rest of the body uh, so we'll spray her all throughout uh, the head of course somewhere uh, in between the horns and the skin where they come to meet there uh, that's an easy place for ticks fleas and mites to hide you want to make sure you take care of those places as well until the animal is completely completely soaking wet so this one you can see now it's 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 really it's really soaking wet and uh, yeah so in that case we're comfortable that uh, she, she's had enough enough of curry side on her and 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 therefore she's she's uh, uh, she's well taken care of um, there are many types of curry sites that you'll find in the shops uh, in the vet shops what what we use currently is cyper tops because here in this pen we're not troubled by ticks for ticks we usually prefer using the uh, what is it called um uh, paranex uh, we, we found paranex to be much more effective in ticks but paranex uh, paranex we we find it to be less effective on mites and fleas and cypertop is much more stronger uh, in my in, in 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 mites and fleas so uh, what we usually have here uh, are minor cases of uh, of mites and a bit of fleas uh, but we controlled fleas so the fleas are no longer here at all uh, what, he, what 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 we have is uh, a few cases of mites that i've seen uh, recently and uh, those are the ones that we are trying to deal with now to make sure we eliminate them all together um so as you can see we have already uh we have already sprayed bahati here and her son we have sprayed uh better junior here is almost drying up now uh and uh, and and also we've sprayed name on the far end that side and uh and leah and now we are going to spray bmb bmb is usually the troublemaker he's so big and uh he sometimes wants to fight when he sees you with this with this machine so i am going to try to be very careful with this big guy um i'm gonna try to get him out okay he's gone out i will have to be very very careful dealing with him uh, because he's so aggressive uh, whenever uh, he experiences great discomfort so <laughs> I'm going to try to stand by far, spray him by from far. Um, so slowly, slowly, he's gonna get wet. Uh, the key thing is to make sure he's really soaking wet. Uh, by positioning myself this way, I'm discouraging him from coming charging my way uh, because this is where the water is coming from. Oh, the curry side is coming from and he's he doesn't want come to come towards it um most of the time you find these places like the neck the back of the head are the places where most of these uh parasites would hide themselves like the ticks that's those those are places they love to hide themselves but we don't have cases of ticks here uh mainly what i've seen are mites and uh, those are the ones that I'm trying to deal with now. And that's why I'm using Cypertop, which I found to be much more stronger in dealing with mites. So uh, glad to see he's not really causing me uh, much trouble today. Uh, 
he's, he's not comfortable of course as usually okay he's coming i need to move backward so now i'm going to do from the top okay he's coming after me this guy can break your leg you know okay, he's put himself in a compromised position which would have been better for me So I'm going to try to discourage him, charge him my way again by positioning myself this way. Key thing is to make sure he's wet, wet, wet. He needs to be soaking wet. From the top is when I encourage him to come charging after me. When I do it from the top because it's very, very important that he gets really soaking wet to kill all these mites that could be burrowing into his skin uh, of course it's not such a serious case but you always want to to manage it when it's just early days when it's just showing up so this is what i'm doing right now i am dealing with the early signs that i've seen of a few mites um, to make sure that it does not continue to to become a serious uh, a serious problem i don't want him to come towards me because his horns if he gets a hook of you with those horns and his size is massive so you'd imagine now this is a good position he's giving me his falls <laughs> he's turned back uh, okay so i think he's already well soaked i think he's already well soaked I want to get the tail. Okay, so that's uh that's basically it. it looks wet enough uh, and I think we're done with our exercise for today he's dripping dripping wet so I'm going to allow him going back into his pen BMB go back Go back in. Go back in your pen. Go back. Hey, go back. Good boy. <clears throat> so there they are, all very well sprayed and uh, this is this is good we're going to control uh, those mites uh, very early and therefore will not affect our our animals health thank you for watching and please do remember to subscribe to our channel in case you haven't so that you don't miss out on any new videos we upload cheers